Hi there, it's Tuesday, which means it's time for Earth Juice. Coming up this week, cheetahs quick off the block, non-stick seal blood, and Hasselhoff's crabs. Now, it's maybe a slightly overused fact that cheetahs are the fastest mammals on the planet, but new research shows that it's actually their acceleration which is the key to their hunting success. A groundbreaking high-tech study into the biomechanics of wild cheetahs was published this week in Nature magazine and saw scientists from the Royal Veterinary College attach tracking collars complete with GPS, accelerometers and gyroscopes to five wild cheetahs in Botswana's Okavango Delta. The state-of-the-art collars recorded the cheetah's speed and position five times every second and locomotive biomechanic Alan Wilson revealed that even with all of that gubbins around their neck, the cheetahs can increase their speed by seven miles per hour in just a single stride. The team also worked out that a cheetah's acceleration power is almost five times that of Usain Bolt during his 2009 world record 100 meter run, Bolt churned out about 25 watts of energy per kilogram of body weight. In the study, the cheetahs managed an incredible 120 watts. If you want to see another of nature's great sprinters in action, then check out our slow-mo video of a racehorse available right here, link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe because in a few weeks, we'll be releasing our video of a greyhound. Scientists from Liverpool University in the UK say they have solved the mystery of one of the most extreme adaptations in the animal kingdom, how marine mammals can hold their breath for so long. Using a special oxygen storing protein called myoglobin, some marine mammals can stay submerged for up to an hour. So you'd have thought more myoglobin means longer underwater and you'd be right. However, at high concentration, these proteins can stick together, causing the muscles to become clogged and potentially stopping them from working properly. Extracting myoglobin from a whole range of mammals, from the land-based cow through the semi-aquatic otter and right up to the extreme divers such as the sperm whale, the scientists traced the changes in myoglobin in deep diving mammals through 200 million years of evolutionary history, finding that the best mammalian breath holders had evolved a kind of non-stick version of the protein. Their myoglobin is positively charged, meaning that the proteins repel each other, much like the positive poles of a magnet. This allows the marine mammals to pack huge concentrations of this oxygen storing protein into their muscles without the risk of it sticking together. And if you want to find out more about how seals hold their breath and indeed see our crew and Maddie do it, click on this link here for a little experiment we did. And finally, scientists from the University of Oxford in the UK have revealed that a hairy crab, nicknamed after David Hasselhoff, yes, the Hoff himself, may have surfed an oceanic current millions of years ago. Only discovered as recently as 2011, the Hoff crab gets its name from its hairy chest, but it's actually a form of Yeti crab, so a much more sensible name, obviously. It thrives 2,000 metres below the sea on volcanic vents, where the temperature can reach up to 380 degrees centigrade, where there's no light and very little oxygen. Publishing their findings in the Proceedings of the Royal Society B, the team suggests that the crab's larvae utilise warm currents provided by volcanic vents around 40 million years ago, and they rode the Antarctic circumpolar current, colonising the Pacific and Atlantic oceans. Many of those volcanic vents are now extinct, but the crabs still thrive along the active ones in the southern part of their traditional range. However, as volcanic activity decreases, there's less opportunity for those larvae to disperse. With these curious crabs being so specialised, zoologist Dr. Rotterman added that they could be prone to extinction, as if oxygen levels in their already oxygen-starved environment deplete much further, they're going to be faced with a stark choice – to suffocate or starve. That's this week's juice. For more information on any of the stories we feature, check out the links in the description below. And if you think we've missed any stories, then let us know in the comments and we will have a look at them. Join us next Tuesday for more Earth Juice. We'll see you then. Astonishingly, one seal's heart rate was recorded at 2.6 beats per minute, but we too can drop our heart rate due to a natural reaction to cold water. It's called the dive response. When our face hits chilly water, like this, our body goes into instant safety mode. So my heart rate is currently at 112 beats per minute. Let's see if this works.